Okay, before we begin, you have to know that the game was released less than a week ago, so if you expect some insane skills, you're not gonna find it here. I also significantly dislike playing as Siegfried, it's just not my style and I can't really do well with him, but I will try and make this entertaining nonetheless. I went for the older version of Guts, the one with the Berserker armor, however it is possible to make multiple versions. I saved the last part of the video as the one showcasing the build itself, but before that, enjoy the main dish. I expected the triple perfect, but I couldn't really do it. Since it's the beginning of the game's uh, lifespan, there are a lot of really new players to the game and it's very easy to trick them into doing some crazy shit. Plus nobody really reacts to lows, so perfect's everywhere. He made some kind of a... Abomination. I wonder if you can do Zod out of uh, Astaroth. Have to try it. Believe I think I messed up with the voice and probably. Okay. Oh man, I could have knocked him down there with the kicks. I didn't react fast enough. He probably tried to sidestep that, which would have been a right decision because I did the vertical hits, but uh, he, he got the jump. Such a good move. Yeah. He is not as aggressive as I think Astaroth should be. I mean, the coolest Astaroths that I've seen are the ones that uh, went for some grab resetting bullshit and he's not doing it. So. I guess it's going to be easy, I don't know. Damn it! I'm getting into... Alright, that's karma, I get it, I get it now. He's a good player, right? Not talking shit. Has two wins trick. Can I win now, please? Inner forces? Should I struggle against destiny? He tried to do it again. That's some decent problem sidestep thing. Maybe he doesn't. <laughs> Doing my, way too many verticals. He's trying to catch me on that. Also, I'm trying to do uh, to seem more like a dancing, aggressive Siegfried rather than. Oh, I really love this map. Really love this map. Okay. Let's try some big boy damage. That's not what I meant. If he got into that, that would have been a big boy damage and probably a ring out. He's very patient, that's very good. This time I blocked the, the sidestep. Okay, I'm doing more uh, horizontals because I know he wants to ring me out. Maybe not. But when he's near the edge, I'm gonna do a lot of horizontals to prevent sidesteps. Why do I keep getting this map? Please tell me. Fucking map. This did not ring him out? Oh, shit off. Now that I think about it, you can actually make Griffith 
out of Raphael. No, oh, nice grab. The dodge! I hear, obviously, seen that coming and uh, all calculated, obviously. Knew it. I already planned your demise. Just didn't know yet. In this pro attack, works every time against the Raphael uh, spammers, oppressors, whatever you want to call them, button mashers. The problem is, Raphael also has. My, my god, I'm trying to sidestep here. Also has uh, a guard break inside its train, so you have to be very careful. Should kill, right? Good. One more to go. Still confused about the voice, because I tried to customize it again, and uh, each time in the battle, I get uh, this echo in his voice. But uh, when I'm trying to customize, I don't get any echo at all. That was dangerous. Oh, stupid. Wait, wait, I lost my concentration there for a bit, trying to expand the stuff with the voice. Oh no! Okay, good. Oh, he didn't block low! Right. I'm having uh, bad flashbacks. He can't come back, can he? Is this my eclipse? My suffering on this map? Or I can't win? My lord! Look at the fucking damage! Look at this fucking damage! God, that did not ring him out! It's bad. Very, very bad. Okay. Oh no, he's going for the damage! Should I sidestep or should I go for the thing? I don't even have time to sidestep! Why did you lag? Okay, I don't understand Raphael, I get it. What is the suffering? Am I destined to lose? Ah! Fucking... Just swing the thing! Swing the thing! Swing the thing! I have no idea how I won that. Somewhere by the end of that, I was just pressing buttons. I was not thinking at all. I was just pressing things. Blood everywhere. All that I remember. He healed my eye, by the way. I just noticed that customization on the eye disappeared. Wow. Okay, now let's take a closer look at customization. Especially at that uh, white hair part and the eye. So the little part of white hair is actually Angel's feathers. I believe that if you've spent more time on it, you could probably place them better, but there are three of them, and you have to hide two of them inside Guts's head, and then take mind of uh, the initial hair, because it also gets in the way. And then there is the problem of hairline, because the feather always wants to go a little bit more forward, than the hairline itself, making it incredibly visible. So you want to hide it behind the hairline, and that means that some part of the hair will cover the feather itself. Or you can compromise and just uh, put it a little bit more to the right or to the left, but then you won't have this exact position like in the manga. 
apple coordinates for the eye, copy it, uh, that's essential. The problem with it is not uh, the positioning of the apple itself, but in the coloring. I still think that I haven't picked the right color for it, because you want to keep the balance there between the shading of the skin and the skin tone itself, so it shouldn't be too dark and too light, at least in my opinion, and the balance between it, very tough, you have to just test it out where it works uh, the best for you. Okay, uh, scars, just stickers, I think that's easy, anyone can do it. Man, I wish I could make the scar smaller, because in the manga and the anime it's way smaller than that. I also do not remember correctly which side does have the mark on, so I may have screwed this up, but the point is, it's also a sticker, and I also wanted it to be seen more. And since I'm playing mostly on the player one side, this is the side that I see the most, so I kinda wanted, I don't know, I mean, that's not a legit mark, but just... The presence of something being on his neck makes it more cosplayish, if you get what I mean. Okay, the trick things are with the equipment, because uh, there are a lot of variations to this. That's the names of them all, but uh, you see the scaled armor that I used as his berserker armor? Basically, you can put the belt over it, but if you don't put the belt, it extends and turns into a dress. And that's the only tricky part about it, you can put on the knives, you can just forget about them and just leave the armor like that, or you can choose another armor with a better cape, because I really really hate this cape. And you can't go for the Cataclysm one, the Nightmare armor, but the problem with that is that it has this huge spike, that you can only spot on the winning screen, since the camera itself in the battle is way too far away and it seems uh, insignificant, let's say it like this, but the cape itself just looks so awesome and gives you this berserk feel, especially when you recolor it to darker um, black. But you have to play very accurately, since if you get in the armor broken state, it's gonna look horrible, no matter what you do. So just play carefully and maybe you will have this uh, stylish time, I don't know. There is uh, a special feeling that you have while playing as your customized character and preserving his or hers looks. I guess this is almost about it when it comes to the character, I just want to notice the face, just the numbers to what to pick, in case you want uh, this exact face, but I think that if you want a younger version of Guts, it's okay to pick something else, as well as the eyebrows, but that's the most Schwarzenegger brutalizing chin that I could find in, in this build. Okay, hope you enjoyed that, and I'm gonna go on another uh, hiatus now. Bye.